welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be giving you a little update on Lola. Uh, that is my uh, female leopard gecko. That's what I finally named her. Her name is Lola. She's a big girl, and uh, the next time I will be feeding her is Tuesday, so I'll probably make a video about that. But tonight I have to feed Leo. He's a little bit smaller than her. He's only eight months. She's a year. So I have to uh, feed him a little bit more frequent than her. So um, for the most part, they're both doing really good. Um, in this, Sometimes uh, leopard geckos don't really get along, but these two have really gotten along very well. They actually both have been in the same hide together quite often. They're usually just sitting in the same hide together. They're really friendly towards each other, so that's good. She's in there. And he's over here. So, um... That means that pretty soon we could probably be having some baby leopard geckos. So um, with that, um, I'm going to start making my own incubator. Uh, I've been researching it, and uh, I think that's the easiest thing to do, make, a, make my own incubator. So uh, here's the start of it. Um, here's the start of my incubator. I haven't really finished it. So um, I've put, I'll probably make a video on it, but um, it's just a tin with some holes poked in the top for now. I will be putting some um, certain type of um, uh, bedding in there for uh, the eggs. So, just look how big she is. <laughs> She's walking on top of my uh, heat thermometer. So. so, also to make sure the temperature in my incubator is uh, the right temperature, I'm going to be using this uh, in there. So. I will even be making sure it is perfect temperature. And um, if you guys didn't know, a little fun fact. Um, um, so I think it's 86 to 85 or to 80s to low 80s. Uh, you will be you will get females if that's the temperature. Um, and 90 or high 80s to 90s, you will get a male. So um, in between, you'll just get uh, a toss up. So um, yep. That is uh, that is some little fun fact for you. So next, we're gonna move on to the egg laying box. So you have to make a little box for them to lay their eggs in. So this is my uh, I just made a little tubware, uh, cut some um, little hole out in the top so they can climb in and then lay her eggs. But I'm getting a um, I'm getting a bedding for this so it keeps the moisture and stuff. So um, I will be getting um, it's called Beta Beast I think. Uh, by Zoomed. I actually do like Zoomed products. I have a um, Zoomed heat pad back there. I like that. It works pretty well. So um, that's what I have for these guys, and I will be pretty excited to have baby leopard geckos pretty soon. Um, probably in the next two to three months, we'll be getting leopard geckos. So that's pretty cool, and um, they're doing really good together. Um, I actually found out that she is what they call a bell albino, and uh, he, I'm pretty sure, is the wild variant. I'm not really 100% sure on that. But um, she is a bell albino. And that's pretty cool because I, I actually love her colors. And I'm thinking we could get some pretty cool babies. So, she, look at her. She just looks like a mini dinosaur. That's what I love about her. She's just awesome. She will go and lay with uh, Leo. That's our, that's our male. And then she is Lola, our female. And she's just trying to explore and figure out where she is. Because um, we just got her two days ago. Or, yeah, I think it was two days ago. But um, she seems pretty happy. She's still got skin on her toes. And I've been trying to take that off for maybe a day and a half now. She's just not cooperating, cooperating with me trying to take that off. So I think pretty soon I'm going to have to do that. Probably today. Probably right now, actually, after I make this video. So um, I think that's going to do it for the video. So I'll be making a video on how to make an incubator and an egg laying box. So thanks for watching. Make sure you get on and hit the subscribe button.